Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making bacon wrapped dates and puff pastry sausage pinwheels, two easy holiday appetizers featuring Berkshire Black pork products from Logan Family Farms. Logan Family Farms, which is located in Irwin, Pennsylvania, close to where I live, has the most incredible bacon I have ever tasted. And bacon wrapped dates are one of my favorite appetizers. So I started with some California pitted dates Make sure your dates are pitted, whatever kind you get. And then I had some toothpicks here that I soaked in water just so they wouldn't burn in the oven. And I wrapped each date in about a third of the piece of bacon. My dates were pretty small. So you wanna wrap it like one and a half times around so that you can stick the toothpick the whole way through and it will secure the bacon to the date. And then I just placed it on a rimmed baking sheet. You definitely wanna use a rimmed one because all of the grease that comes out of the bacon as it renders in the oven will spill everywhere if it doesn't have a little edge around the pan. The Logan Family Farms website states that their Berkshire pork products are well marbled and consistently tender, juicy, and highly enjoyable with a buttery meat texture. And I could not agree more. So these beautiful babies are gonna bake at 400 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes. Basically you want them to be almost crisp, a little bit chewy still, just that perfect bacon texture and they will melt in your mouth. The sweet, chewy date paired with the salty, buttery bacon is just the ultimate two ingredient appetizer. Now, just be sure to allow them to cool slightly before you dive in because that bacon fat is sizzling hot when it comes out of the oven. For my second appetizer, I'm using the Logan Family Farms Salt and Pepper Loose Sausage, which is so tasty, and I'm gonna brown it up in a skillet until it's nice and crisp. And to this, I'm adding half of a very small onion that I diced up finely, along with one clove of garlic that I minced. And you can see here, some of the edges are starting to get golden brown and a little bit crispy, the perfect sausage texture. And for some extra flavor, I sprinkled in just about a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. Lastly, to make this sausage filling nice and creamy, I added in some cream cheese. I only had about a third of a brick. I would recommend more like a half a brick or four ounces. It still tasted amazing, but I wanted a little bit more creaminess in the end. So I allowed the sausage mixture to cool, and then I removed it from the skillet with a slotted spoon just so that none of the extra grease would come with it. Next, it was time to roll out my puff pastry. I had thawed this according to the package directions, so I left it sitting on my counter for about 40 minutes until it was easy to work with. And when I opened it up by hand, there was a little bit of flour on the surface of the dough, but I also decided to flour my work surface just so that nothing would stick. And I used a floured rolling pin just to gently roll this out so it was a little bit bigger than what it started out as, and there weren't any creases in it anymore. It was just a nice smooth surface. Once my dough was rolled out, I spooned the sausage mixture over top. Now this is where I wish it was a little bit creamier so it was slightly more spreadable, but again, it tasted amazing in the end. I tried to leave a clean edge at the bottom so I could seal my puff pastry together when I was finished rolling it up. Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I probably overfilled my pastry a little bit. I used almost all of the sausage filling, but not quite. My husband said it wasn't possible to overfill it because the filling was so incredibly tasty, but it would have been a little bit easier to roll up had there been slightly less sausage. So that's up to you how much you wanna put inside. We saved our extra sausage filling to serve with some scrambled eggs, which was delicious. Once I pinched the bottom together, I cut the log in half, and then I cut those halves in half, and then I cut everything into equal pieces. So there were 16 total. I just thought this would be easier for me to divide it up this way so that every slice was fairly even. I placed my puff pastry sausage pinwheels on a parchment lined baking sheet and these baked at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until they had puffed up and were nice and golden brown. Mm -hmm. 
These turned out so beautifully. I think they look really impressive. You could see a couple of the little tails didn't quite stick, but you could probably use a little water or beaten egg to help that pastry dough adhere to itself. Last but not least, I had to try one of those bacon wrap dates and it was amazing. Make sure you visit the Logan Family Farms website, which I'll link in my description box below to learn all about their incredible Berkshire Black pork products. Thank you so much for joining me today in my kitchen. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like today's recipe. I'll see you again soon.